Hey everybody, I'm Jacob Castro and welcome to another video here on Jacob's Aquarium. So today we're going to be talking a little bit more about the Kessel AP700, the fantastic new LED light fixture that has just actually been released. Now pretty much we covered a lot of stuff about the AP700 in my previous review video that I made for the light fixture, but I really didn't get a chance to demonstrate the uh, iPad or um, Wi-Fi capability of this light fixture because I didn't in fact have an iPad, but I went out and I bought one. <laughs> this is the iPad mini uh, fourth generation and it's my first ever iPad by the way and it's awesome, I love it. Uh, great camera, great features, you know, uh, very fast so I, I really love this thing. But now since I have the iPad I figured I would uh, show you guys in fact how to uh, sync up the Kessel AP700 with, um, uh, with the iPad of course and uh, also show you guys what you can do, all the different settings that you can customize and all the uh, really cool um, light features as well like thunderstorms and cloud cover and there's just a lot of stuff that you can do with this light fixture. So we're going to be going over all those things in this video so sit back, relax, hope you guys enjoy it and uh, most importantly if you're looking for a, a really great light fixture for a saltwater tank, look no further than the Kessel AP700 because it is by far from what I've heard, what I've seen, and the people I've talked to, it is like the best light fixture for saltwater tanks and corals and all that good stuff. So, all right, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about what you can do with the Kessel AP700 and the iPad. All right, so first things first, you have to actually download the iPad app. <laughs> I think you probably could have guessed that yourself. So, let's go ahead and go into, oh, you can see all the games I was looking at. <laughs> Let's go ahead and go into the App Store and pretty much you just have to type in Kessel and it'll come up and it'll say Kessel Wi-Fi Controller. Okay, so I actually have already downloaded it so you can see the iCloud icon over mine. Uh, but for those of you that haven't downloaded this off the App Store, it'll I think it'll just have the little Git or uh, Download or whatever button. So I'm going to go ahead and download it. And on my Wi-Fi it goes pretty fast <laughs> as you can see and uh, we'll go ahead and open it. And uh, first you'll receive a little pop-up warning here that basically just says you should have uh, iOS 8 or above installed on your iPad because uh, that's the best um, software that works the best with the Kessel AP700 so nothing below that and you should also be using for best performance with this uh, light fixture the iPad Air or above. Okay so that's just recommendation from Kessel. Okay, so we'll click OK on that. So this is basically the home page for the app and as you can see there's no icons for an LED light fixture because we haven't added uh, my AP700 yet. So um, all you got to do is click on this little plus right here and it'll take you to this page. Now you can either use a wireless router to connect to the AP700 or you can connect directly to the AP700. And of course it says that's recommended because that's kind of the best way to do this. When you go through a router, you're going through a third party, I guess you could say. But if you just connect directly to the AP700's Wi-Fi controller that's integrated into the light fixture, you're working directly with the uh, iPad and the AP700. You're not going through a router to then get to, through to uh, the AP700. So that's what we're going to do, which is uh, the best, well, which is uh, recommended by Kessel and also, in my opinion, the best way to... Uh, work with the AP700 and the iPad um, and here it'll tell you to uh, make sure the AP700 is powered on press the uh, the intensity and color button simultaneously and make sure that the Wi-Fi indicator uh, is flashing as well so uh, we've gone ahead and already done that and uh, we're just gonna click next okay and now it's saying connect to AP700 Wi-Fi SSID Okay, which is basically uh, that's the uh, the network that will show up um, in your uh, Wi-Fi settings on your iPad, and uh, because the Kessel has its own Wi-Fi controller, so we'll go to our settings, and we will then go to Wi-Fi, and we see here the Kessel, and then uh, followed by all these numbers, that is uh, the Kessel light fixture right there. So all we got to do is click on that and that'll start connecting to it. It has connected which is great. So now, so now we go back to the app, open it up, and we click next. Now if you don't do that you won't be able to proceed with the setup process. So 
don't worry, going out of the app will not start the whole process over again. Uh, you have to do that in order to connect to the fixture. Okay, so um, now that we've done that, it'll allow us to proceed. So we'll click next. And then it's gonna ask us to create a password. Now this is really cool because um, you can create a password basically so that nobody else can sign into your Kessel AP700 and control it uh, with another iPad. I think this is, um, <laughs> this is a great feature for uh, tropical fish stores because you know I can just see hobbyists coming in with their own devices, maybe playing around or hopefully not being malicious, but you know, uh, signing into Kessel AP 700s displayed at stores to try to mess with them. Uh, so this is a great feature, which will prevent that. And uh, period, it's just great to have a password on anything. That way nobody within cr close proximity, especially if you live in an apartment like, like me, can uh, control any of your Wi-Fi enabled devices. So we're gonna create a password, and of course, I'm not gonna show you that. And after you create your password, click next. And it's gonna say, please wait 20 seconds and it'll begin a countdown. Okay, so now step four is to again, go back out of the app, go back into your Wi-Fi settings and connect once again to the Kessel. And we can see it's actually already connected to the Kessel, so that's great. So we'll go back out and go back into the app and click Next. And now we're done. And so the lamp is officially set up with our iPad app. And now it's going to just uh, pretty much just get everything started. So you'll, you'll see a little loading um, icon um, with a little spinning wheel in the back. Or actually, not a spinning wheel, but... Uh, a circle with a bar moving through it. <laughs> okay, and now we can see that the Castle AP700 is synced with our, our iPad because we see a little uh, logo icon, whatever you want to call it for it. And also the plus icon is still here because we still do have the option to add more Kessel AP700s if we would like to. But of course I only have one so that's all I'm going to add to my iPad. So to get into uh, your Kessel AP700 and customize certain features or whatever, um, I pretty much just click on this little the color dot. Uh, I found clicking anywhere else does not take you into it, like the name or anything. So I found clicking in the center gets you in there so we'll just click on that. And it'll take you to the page where you can customize uh, the different settings and uh, effects for your Kessel AP700. All right, so now that we have the Kessel AP700 synced up to my iPad and uh, we have it over my planet tank, which this is just for a demonstration. <laughs> I will not be using this light fixture combined with three A160s over this tank. It'll, all I'll be growing is algae, so don't worry. <laughs> it's just for a demonstration. So let's go ahead and turn off uh, the studio lights and let's go ahead and turn off the three A160s that I have on this tank and uh, I will show you guys all the different settings that you can uh, customize for the AP700 as well as uh, the really cool effects. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so before we start playing with the Kessel AP700, we have to turn it on. And to do that, we just go back to the home page of the app and press the little power button here, or slide it rather. And you can see it just turned on behind me. So now uh, let's go ahead and go back, or go back into the app. Once again, clicking the little dot. And uh, you'll see the color wheel, which you can use to, to uh, change the color of the light. You can see it changing behind me. And don't worry, I'll give you guys a better view of this uh, after I show you guys, uh, you know, how, how, how it is working with these little icons and stuff in the app. So basically, this is the color wheel, and you just, you know, move your finger around it. You can change the different color uh, colors of the S Kessel AP700. And uh, you can control intensity too. Right now it's at 50%, so we'll bring it to 100%. You can see it got more brighter behind me. We'll bring it down. And we can bring it all the way down to where it goes off as well. So we'll turn it back on to 100%. And you can also do uh, storm effects, which is really cool. We'll click on that, and that'll kind of take it to a more bluer, bluer pinkish style of light. And then, ooh, look at that flash. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, we'll take that off. And you notice when you do the demo effects, it always returns to where you have it set on the color wheel. I think that's really nice. That way you don't have to continue to, you know, readjust it every time you do an 
an effect. So if you have some friends over and you just want to show off your AP700, you can say, hey man, look at this, and press a, press an effect and you know not have to worry that your your you know color is going to reset it'll stay where it is so we'll leave it on white i think that's fine there's also another button at the top called program and that will give you the ability to program your ap700 to do uh, different things they have a standard uh, template for you know different settings an acclimation template a lunar cycle template all these things can be used to control the Kessel AP700 as you would with other you know systems like if you want to program a sunrise and sunset or whatever you can do uh, different things like that so I'm not really gonna get too much into this because to customize you know that or a sunrise and sunset takes a little bit but you know you guys basically get you know what I'm I'm saying so you can do a lot um, and you can also set different a lot of different uh, cycles and you can set m multiple cycles as well and have them all turned on and so they all work uh, together um, at the same time or all they work uh, you know together one after the other after one finishes its cycle so pretty cool you can do a lot of stuff with this um, app so we'll go back to manual and uh, I'll give you guys a better shot of the tank as I uh, play around with the color wheel and the uh, demo effects as well Okay guys, so we will first uh, play around with the color wheel. Right now we're on sky blue and we'll go to green, darker green, yellow, yellow, red, orange, purple, pink, blue. This is called deep ocean blue by the way, this one right here. This one's called ocean blue number one, ocean blue number two, ocean blue number three, and ocean blue number four and then we'll get into the whites one. Oh, okay we're still on ocean blue <laughs> okay this is ocean blue number five ocean blue number six ocean blue number seven then the last one is a sky blue this one right here so pretty cool that's the color wheel <laughs> and if you're having a party and you don't mind uh, moving your finger around the color wheel on your on your app sim a lot <laughs> you can make for some really cool lighting effects <laughs> okay, so now we'll do we'll check out the uh, effects as well. Let's uh, try the storm effect. You can see that kind of uh, that kind of you know it uh, does it's it's more of a blue you know and then you'll see white colored flashes of course. I think that's what you'd expect with a lightning effect, you know. Um, this effect in particular for me, if I had a saltwater tank. It's, I would be using this most of the time. <laughs> I just think it looks so, so cool. Um, so I really like that effect. That's one of my most favorite ones. So we'll wait for another lightning strike and then we'll move into the other effect. There we go. It's pretty cool. It, it looks pretty realistic actually. Okay, so we'll take off the storm effect. As you can see, it returns to what we had it set on as far as the color. Now we'll turn the cloud effect on. And once again, we go back to the blue uh, color, kind of similar to the storm effect. And you'll see how it kind of gets a little brighter, darker. Maybe the color kind of changes a little bit. Pretty much just look like, it looks like clouds are moving in front of the sun and uh, the sun gets blocked and then it can show. And then, you know, pretty accurate, I would say, for a cloudy effect. So we'll wait for it to uh, cycle through one more, one more time. There we go. You can see the white color coming back up. So the sun is peeking through. Yay! Here comes the sun. Da -ding -da -ding. Here comes the sun and I see. <laughs> it's all right. Okay. We'll take off the cloud effect. Now let's do the aurora. This is really cool. Check out this one. This just changes to a bunch of different colors. Look at that. Ooh, that's neat. Okay, so we kind of so with the aurora effect with the aurora effect, it's not uh, a lot of different colors, but it's basically just white and blue that is cycling uh, intensity and uh, and uh, color. So pretty cool. Okay, and last but not least, let's try the rainbow effect. This one is pretty cool. Of course, as you probably could have guessed, it's going to take us through all the colors of the rainbow. And uh, what song should I song should I sing for this one? How about uh, I'm coming, coming out? 
I'm just kidding. Okay, yeah, so this is the rainbow effect. Pretty cool going through all the colors of the rainbow. Obviously, the camera does not do this, um, uh, the light effect on my tank justice because it looks so much better in person than it does on the camera, unfortunately. Uh, so you really just have to try it out for yourself. But trust me when I say, guys, these effects are really cool. And uh, definitely the storm effect, we'll go back to that one, is my personal favorite. All right, so thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to come back for more awesome videos here on Jacob's Aquarium especially updates on this planet tank. It's going to be so cool to see how this thing grows in once all the plants get uh, get going here. <laughs> I'm just so excited to see what it's going to look like months from now. So stay tuned for more awesome videos here on Jacob's Aquarium. And thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. Have fun with your tanks, and I will see you next time.